Yes, creativity is an addiction. It could be a light addiction. It can be an overdose addiction. It is inside you. It is its own pandemic. Because look at how many people are affected by creativity. Those that are using it, those that are abusing it. Those that are taking it, those that continue to make it. It is alive in each and every one of us. But do you understand it? Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I am a stream thinker. The power of now is what I put so much energy in. Learning to trust freeform writing. It's something that you do as an exercise, as a writer. You, you build upon something and you learn to trust what is happening in the presence of now. And doing this, this daily exercise is a great way for you to stay in touch with the inner core of how creativity moves through each and every one of us. It's a one-page challenge, 10 minutes to write, absolutely no editing whatsoever. The perfectionist has got to go away. You can't, can't do it with the perfectionist. And the reason why is because it's going to give us plenty of time to talk about it in the end. This is stream thinking. We're reading from December 4th, 2021, and and I started off with, what day is it? Not during this moment of writing, but rather this day of reading. And, and I will answer that question. What day is it? It's December 27th, 2021. So a total of 23 days have gone by. I've been very blessed to have the ability and the honor of talking with all kinds of published authors who openly speak of their time to go from the origin of thought to the day of the bookstore release. What day is it? What day will it be when I reach this particular podcast? We've wasted a lot of time since March of 2020. Although millions of people globally have made brilliant new discoveries, the echo effect really isn't happening. We keep changing our minds. No, I'd like to do this instead. Wow, let me try this. What do we have to lose? Let's just do it. Now, because I'm a daily writer, my time is documented. It doesn't mean I utilize the right time with the right thoughts. It just means I showed up. Is that what we've been doing most of our time? I'm here. You saw me. I'm out without even saying goodbye. How much time was even used to pin out this thought? And I wrote down that answer. Not even three minutes. Time. I I don't have a good relationship with time. And, and I, I used to have a battle with change because I was challenged by change because it's like, I want to do it this way. The Google calendar says I has to go at this time. And it's like, no, no, through change, you can't do that. You can't, you can't be that person that's always going to be on time. I'm a freak with time. So much so that I will show up at an event three hours early because in my heart, I'm six hours late. So when I ask what day is it, I really do want to know because I have an issue now with days. I, I don't know what day it is because I took on an essential job that, that allows me to work on the weekends. Your weekend is not my weekend. My weekend starts on Monday. So I, I look around me going, where is everybody? It's the weekend. Well, they're at work. Time. Days. We're about ready to hit 2022. How? When in 2019, during the month of December of that year, there, there was a little bit of talk about this, this thing. It, 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 they, 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 they called it the Wan Fu flu. And, and, and then it evolved into COVID-19. And, and then, and then it's, it's like, what happened? I'm a daily writer. I documented every single day. But did I properly utilize the time? What day is it where you are? You're picking this up right now. Where I am is the 27th. Where I began this thought was on December 4th, 2021. What day is it where you are? I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.